guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be testing some overhyped drugstore products that I see all over YouTube, all over the internet. They are like some of the products that you just hear about in everybody's drugstore rundown, their roundup, their, their idea of like what's the best thing, best value at the drugstore. And we are going to be testing three of them today, and thank God, because your girl needs some makeup on her face. It's been a little rough lately. I've been going in on the Alpha Hydroxies, and it's just pulling some stuff out of the woodwork. We're just gonna go with it. Thank goodness we are going to be testing a, I think a full coverage foundation today. The three products that I have chosen to test for this overhyped at the drugstore test, which we could make this into a series, you guys let me know. They are all cruelty free, I did check, I wanna make sure of that. It's actually really hard to find cruelty free stuff at the drugstore because so many of these companies that sell at the drugstore are very sneaky about the way that they say that they are cruelty free. They're like, yeah, we definitely don't test on animals, but we can't control what anybody else does with our products. I'm like, that's not the same. So that's not, that's not the same. So the three that we are going to be trying, first of all, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. <laughs> the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. <laughs> and finally, Milani Luminoso. We are going to be testing all three of these today and I really hope that I like them because they are hyped and I want them to be hyped for a reason and they're very inexpensive and so if they're cool, then I get to share that with you guys. So that is always the object of the game. So guys, usually I run my mouth for a really long time before we start putting makeup on my face. Let's just start putting makeup on my face. So I got this in shade Soft Ivory. It's even got the little cruelty-free bunny on the front. Really not, not sure what I did with my hair today. It's, it's looking a little bit crazy. Um, I decided to curl it and it just kind of went full partridge family. I, I have no idea. All right, so I've got my damp beauty blender right here. She is clean, even though she does not look clean. I don't know, she's just kind of stained. And the way that this guy dispenses out of the container is with this interesting little paddle. So I think I can put this directly on my face. <laughs> Maybe not, maybe that's not very hygienic. We'll put it on the back of my hand and we will see how this goes. This does look like a nice sort of like runny consistency. So hopefully it'll be lightweight. Let's find out, let's see if it matches here. It smells like paint. <laughs> it smells like interior enamel and it looks insane on camera but it's actually a really good match. It's just because I have a lot of pigmentation to my skin, like a lot of really random kind of like old pigmentation. And so when you flatten all that stuff out, it tends to reflect really white on camera. But what's really happening is that um, taking everything back to its natural skin color. It says goodbye photo flashback, helps eliminate white particle reflection. It doesn't say what the finish is. You guys know that I am not a big drugstore person, so I'm not really like an expert on how this is supposed to go, but that's why we're doing this together. I'm kind of going out of my comfort zone here, but I wanted to kind of start focusing on some products that are cruelty free at the drugstore because there are a lot of drugstore brands that do a really good job of being responsible and they don't really get enough credit, at least not on my channel. So if you guys are coming here for the full picture, you know, I want to make sure that I'm giving that to you and not just being like, hey guys, here's this like indie brand, like indie brands are great and everything, but sometimes they can be a little expensive. Sometimes they can be a little bit incomplete. The color range, the shade range on this foundation is insane. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how many they have, but it is a lot. So good on them on that too. So this feels really like flexible and kind of oily. And I'm very curious about that. Like I'm gonna be interested to see how it dries down because she, just feels really dewy, like really dewy for a full coverage. You know what I mean? Like if you've got a dewy full coverage, it's like you know that you're gonna be able to like touch it over the course of the day and it's going to move around and that is a really bad feeling. I've ordered some other drugstore products to try. So if this one, if you guys end up liking this, then we can make more videos like this. Let's go for a little concealer under the eyes. I am going to go for the Tarte Shape Tape just because it is going to be lighter than this, so it'll actually contrast properly. Plus, come to find out, Maybelline tests on animals, so that pissed me off. I just, I don't know. I never look into stuff at the drugstore with that much of a microscope, you know, because I don't really buy stuff unless I'm in a pinch, like, at the drugstore, and so, um, yeah, I've kind of been exploring that world lately. So yeah, I am breaking out really badly on my chin right now. Wow, those two play so well together and this eyelash refuses to leave me alone. Get out of here. Here's hoping that bronzer is amazing because <laughs> your girl needs a little bit of color in her face. 
All right, I'm gonna go in with my Glossier Router. This is forever my ride or die. I've been trying some other products lately because I just wanna, you know, branch out and try stuff. But whenever I need to go back to something reliable, I always go back to Wowder because it is the greatest. And you'll see, it starts to bring the color back to my face a little bit because this is the most anti-flashback powder of all time. It is so natural and it is so, I always say this, it always mimics your skin's natural texture, especially after you've hit it with some finishing spray. And I just, I can't say enough about it. I will say, if you want something that does a really, really good job of like, you know, sealing in your creases and stuff like that, this is not a baking powder. This is a setting powder. And so I would recommend for a baking powder, you know, your Cody Airspun or something like that. But also, um, I really, really like the hammer powder. Oddly enough, so this is from Luscious Cosmetics. I reviewed this a couple weeks ago. But oddly enough, this white shade, for whatever reason, you can set a crease with it and like just, you know, keep something flat like underneath your eyes or kind of between your eyes or something like that with the velour puff. Leave it there for a minute and brush it away and it will not leave a white cast. It's very, very cool stuff. So I've been very impressed with that. I am actually gonna take a little bit of that camera powder on their little puff that they give you and just make sure that these creases that wanna happen under my eyes are not happening. And it will be white for a second and then you can kind of brush away the excess. I'm going to let that live its life for a minute. This still feels so wet though. Like, it's kind of weird how it doesn't seem to want to, I always I feel like I say that all the time when I'm editing my videos, I get sick of hearing myself say, it's not drying down, but like, I think I just have a real sensitivity for stuff not moving around. I just want it to stay where it is. And if that means a little extra powder, then so be it. You really do have to give the extra time and attention to every step. It's kind of like cooking, you know what I mean? You kind of want to think critically about each thing that you're adding and make sure that before you put another layer of something on top of it, you're taking the time to make the first layer count. So um, the Butter Bronzer is not an inexpensive drugstore product. She's just a little bit much. I will put all the prices and everything down below, but I got it in the shade Muru Muru Butter Bronzer? bronzer? It literally doesn't have a shade, I don't think. But this is by Physicians Formula. The packaging is a total aesthetic nightmare. And it is a really nice kind of like heavy duty kind of compact and I appreciate that. It comes with this hilarious, <gasps> are you serious? It says like mirror and uh, applicator brush or whatever included. This is a, a piece of foam like you would use to apply kind of one of those cushion foundations. I cannot imagine trying to put bronzer on with this. I could be wrong. You guys could tell me I'm wrong, but I'm not going to venture into that today because I think that that would ruin my entire face of makeup. It does come with a nice little mirror. So I am not in love with that scent. Oh my God. <laughs> that smells like holy fake coconut. My God. So I'm going to take my Eco Tools brush here and just kind of bibbity bob in there. It doesn't seem to want to pick up like scary amounts of pigment. I'm kind of touching it on the back of my hand to make sure so that I don't stamp it on my face. We've all been there. So I will just kind of tap it a little bit and we're going in. Yeah. Okay. I'm listening, Butter Bronzer. I'm here for it. I could put up with your coconut scent. I do think they have more than one shade, and I think that if they do, I got the lighter of them because <laughs> obviously that is so easy to work with. That is so pretty. It makes me look like I know what I'm doing. I think I've told you guys in the past on my channel, probably pretty recently, I haven't really found a bronzer that I love. And actually I did say that because someone commented recently and said, try the butter bronzer, it's actually really good. And I was like, okay, okay. I also don't really have any brow products that I really love. Hopefully I can find something like that soon, but I can't get over how pretty that is. Let's see, let's throw a little bit here. It's kind of funny. You know you like a product when you want to keep putting it on, <laughs> even though maybe you're putting on too much. I could be putting on too much, I'm not sure. Yeah, I can see that smell being really offensive first thing in the morning, you know what I mean? Um, but it's kind of worth it because that's
that's so pretty. All right, now the final thing we are going to kind of dip into here is this Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, which is like the color of life. This also comes with a really dumb little brush that I cannot imagine possibly using <laughs> to apply blush to my face. That would be insane. I also can't really imagine putting on blush on the go. You know what I mean? Just like, oh, hmm, like, I don't know. That just doesn't, that's not something I would do. But yeah, it comes with a little mirror in there as well. And we're gonna go ahead and go in with this bad boy. It's supposed to be just this like universally flattering shade. Okay, she's dusty. Hey oh, what's up, girl? Oh my god, that was insane. I was not expecting that at all. I was expecting it to be a little more resistant and it just went everywhere. Alright, here we go. Okay. She pretty. My battery ran out. So I had to go and change my battery. So I'm not really a big fan of using it with that brush. I feel like it's kind of kicking too much up. So I'm actually gonna go in with the same EcoTools brush that I used for the bronzer because it's my favorite and it's so good at diffusing the product. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of dust that on my cheeks here. I am really impressed with the level of pigmentation. I have never tried a Milani product in my life. Whenever I was like a kid, I would see it and it was in kind of this gold packaging. And to me, it always looked like something that was for like older women. I was always like, oh, that's not for me. It doesn't have like young hip packaging. I hear so much about it. I hear really good things about their foundations and about all of their like blush products and their lip products and everything. And I've never tried a Milani product. So this does have a little bit of sheen to it, which I do like. I think it's really freaking flattering. We will see how the color lasts kind of all day. This is going to be a wear test so that we can kind of see, especially how the foundation performs over the course of the day. So I'm going to go ahead and cut away, finish my makeup, come back, and then we will talk. All right, so initially I was really unsure about the foundation because it went on, the way I felt it went on was really cakey. Like I looked at myself really close in the mirror and I was like, this is not doing my pores any favors and it doesn't have like enough coverage to necessarily justify how cakey it looks, but then I hit it with barely any finishing spray and it is so chill. Like the texture, the finish on it is so freaking pretty and this was really interesting. So a lot of the stuff that I've been trying lately, especially the Juice Beauty, when you find it settling into a spot on your face and you just kind of take like a dry finger and you just sort of try and press it out, it just moves all over the place or just completely comes off like this. I have like a, an old, like a scar right here from <laughs> getting waxed in cosmetology school and it like ripped my skin and so it looks like a weird little like crease wrinkle like right here at the corner of my mouth. And I went to kind of like push the powder and the foundation out of it and it just like it resisted just enough that I was able to kind of like actually press it out without like disrupting the rest of the makeup and I was like okay <laughs> okay when wild well, like <laughs> th there's something to this formula it's a really really pretty formula it takes a while for it to feel like it's really like settled down and dried on your skin but once it does it really feels like it's locked in so I'm really happy with it it made the rest of the makeup go on really nicely loving the bronzer the blush is pretty. I think that like the main selling point of that blush is like the price and the fact that it's just a really universally flattering shade. Um, but it's not necessarily like the formula is not really blowing my mind, but we will see how they kind of wear all day. A blush from the drugstore, the pigmentation will kind of start to leave over the course of the day. Same thing with the bronzer. So we will see if the foundation starts to break up on me as I go about my day. I will check in with you guys at the very end. I would do intraday check-ins, but my videos end up being so long anyway because I don't know when to shut up. So I just end up checking at the end of the day and giving you guys the full lowdown. So I will do that. So guys, this is the finished makeup look. I'm going to film a few more videos, go about my day, and I will check in with you guys after I've been wearing this all day long. So I will see you tonight. Hey guys, so it is the end of my night. I just took my glasses off and I wanted to go ahead and follow up and let you guys know how all of the products performed today. So, I have been both around the house and out to have a glass of wine with Mike and just kind of doing things out and about. And overall, I am pretty disappointed with this foundation. I feel like the excuse is kind of always available. That's like, well, you know, it is a drugstore product, so you kind of get what you pay for. But at the same time, like, what are we trying to do at the drugstore? We are trying to find a hack. We are trying to find something that is better than worth the money, right? We're trying to find something that is surprising, not just 
yes, I paid $6 for this and I got $6 worth in foundation on my face. Like that's how it feels. That's how it feels with this product. I do not feel like I got any kind of like exceptional performance out of this product that makes me go, wow, that's so much better than being a drugstore product. Like I'm still just like socks still on my feet, not knocked off. You know what I mean? However, let's talk about the bronzer and the blush because, um, blush, she kind of failed, but you know, not bad. I would wear it again. Blushes are actually more difficult than I would think to make really great. And so the fact that this one has kind of faded a little bit over the course of the day doesn't stress me out. Like it doesn't really bother me. I think it's really pretty. I will definitely use it again. The bronzer's gorgeous. <laughs> the bronzer is gorgeous. Whichever commenter it was out there who said that I need to try the butter bronzer, girl, you're right. I can completely move past the smell of coconuts that truly offends me because the performance is beautiful and I think it's going to be kind of my new everyday bronzer. I'm really, really excited about it. So I'm going to move you guys in real quick so you can see the <laughs> final damage of the foundation. So one of the biggest things that I noticed was that in the beginning of putting this on, it didn't really move around, which was great. But the problem is that when it does finally start to move around, it just peels completely off. Like if you reach up and touch your face, like all the way through your day, like late in the day, it just comes off completely. So granted, this is from food. Like don't, you know what I mean? Like that's not a foundation's fault. That was like oily food. But this, like what, what's going on here? It just, she just didn't stand the test of time. Like she just couldn't take heat. You know what I mean? And like this, she's making me look ugly. <laughs> like I'm, I'm old, but I'm not that old. You know what I mean? Like she's just not making me look better than I am. Plus, um, this is just not working for me. I don't know, let's refocus. Can you see that underneath my eyes? That is just not a good look. And that is not the powder. My powder doesn't typically do that. This is just really dry underneath my eyes. I would say that the jury was already out on the foundation to begin with because it went on so cakey and then it kind of redeemed itself. She, she turned out okay when I put some finishing spray on, but Within a couple of hours, I felt like it kind of started to oxidize. It doesn't look like it on camera, but there is kind of a difference in shade between my face and my neck. And to me, that wasn't the case when I put the foundation on, so it did kind of change color a little bit. I feel like what it did was it just kind of became its own entity on top of my skin instead of kind of staying movable and staying like on board with my face. It just kind of became its own thing and started doing its own thing over the course of the day. And I just can't have that with foundation. So I don't think I'll be using this foundation again. I will definitely be using the bronzer again. I will definitely be using the blush again. So as far as what these overhyped drugstore products go, I think that there is cause for the hype for the bronzer and for the Milani blush, but this foundation, I don't know. I don't know. What I love my girl Tati. I don't know what she sees in it. It's just kind of not that big of a deal. And I think that, like I said, the biggest issue that I have with so many of these like super praiseworthy products that come from the drugstore is that everybody's like, well, they're so great for the drugstore. Like, for getting it at the drugstore, it's really good. Like, that's not the caveat that I want to live with. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm going to go and find something at the drugstore and it's going to, like, knock my socks off, it needs to perform up to and above anything else that I'm using on my face because I don't want somebody to look at my face and go, well, it doesn't look that good, but is it from the drugstore? Oh, well, then that's okay. Like, that's not how I want to live my life. Like, no one's going to do that. It's like, no, no one's going to look at you and go, oh, it was okay for the drugstore. They're just going to be like, that looks cakey and crazy. So, guys, if you have any other recommendations for foundations that I need to try at the drugstore, let me know in the comments down below. And, guys, if you enjoyed this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If there are any other products from the drugstore that you think are just, like, ride or die, let me know because I stand to be convinced. I love being proved wrong, so go for it. And guys, if you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you did. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.